Okay. All right, so here we are. This is Immortals versus Phoenix. This is the Clan Wars front lines event, Operation Ash. Uh, both teams are getting set to pick their tanks, and Beast was just about to give his uh, pre-game analysis. Let's hear that, Beast. Oh. We're looking for FNX right now, probably, yeah, definitely coming in very mobile. Uh, not as many autoloaders as what we seen yesterday out of them, but definitely seriously mobile set up. Uh, on the side of Immortals right here, uh, not going to have to worry about the TVP 5051s early on right here, so uh, that's probably a little bit of good news for them, but they are definitely coming out just as little, just as, yeah, definitely just as mobile, maybe just a hair more, uh, armor in place for these guys but uh looks like both teams are selected we are ready to launch whenever you are sir oh i'm ready to go let's just run this down like you say phoenix coming out with a t100 lt love to see that tank in comp play uh it's so fast so low profile uh it's it's paired up with three bat chats uh, and then they, uh, for the for the muscle, they're bringing out a, an IS-7 and two chieftains. What are the Immortals bringing out? Yeah, on the side of Immortals, we have Abiotic Hollow and a 50B, Voidwalker and STL Stang in IS-7, Smill in a bad chat, Steel Titan in a bad chat, Sir Tubbins in an OBJ-140, and Tubby Boo Bear in a bad chat, 25T. Tubby Boo Bear, better known as Nerd Kisses Girls, better known as Django Fett. Better known as about 25 other gamer tags. Let's go to war, fellas. Gotta give Nerd and Tubby Boo Bear a special shout out. That is my son. I taught the man how to tank. Real interesting map here, Weasel. Uh, Going to be curious to see how both of these teams decide to go ahead and attack this map. Uh, that cap being centered in the very center of the map, uh, definitely just no limits to the opportunities for crossfires to be set up. Uh, going to be really hard to work into that cap area. Not that either one of these teams will probably look to cap, but... Uh, Definitely a lot of crazy strats can be brought into play right here for sure. Now, I, I haven't myself streamed very many matches on this map. Um, trying to, I don't even know if I have streamed a match on this map before. Uh, right, correct. It's it's not uh, a, a super popular map for, for comp play, but I mean, I, I have played it before in comp, so it's not like it's just haven't actually streamed it. Uh, early on, I do like what both of these teams are doing. Uh, looks like Phoenix is setting up for a uh, good flank defense, a uh, good crossfire scenario. Early on, uh, bat chats have been lit. Yeah, Smil in that monster bat chat of his, though, has gone ahead, got that spotting bush right up there, and is in a very dominant position to uh, hold back any type of push or anything whatsoever for these guys to uh to come in and do this so uh just looking for uh you got it looks like a nice nice early uh damage into adrian up there on the hill so early work right there void walker just got lit right there uh could possibly be into trouble looks like tweaky has rotated around though so uh the only one really kind of in jeopardy right now is Adrian, still taking shots. Wow. Gets focused out. Immortals showing that great focus ability. And the use of just monster guns on the field. You got a push coming from Tubby Boo Bear, gaining some ground over here. Yeah, I, I think you recognize that uh, Super Finar has got to be over there. Finra. I apologize for that. Got to be over there. He's, his reload should be done by now. Immortals actually putting on a little bit of cap pressure here. They've got great map uh, territory control right now. Sure. 
And it looks like Smil's going to come in a little aggressive right here. Might be overextended just a little bit, though. Going to have to definitely be careful. Once again, though, uh, Tubbins has set his other bat chat. Yeah. Tubbins still has set his other bats into a nice crossfire scenario, but I don't know. Tweaky might be in a position to go ahead and uh, put some shots into this guy, even though I don't think he's actually looking. He's trying to watch the cat. Waiting on Super Finners to come around. Go ahead and make a pass into these IS-7s on the cat. An insistive motion. Actually flanking all the way around the map. You uh, can see he him can stay down. unlit. Yeah, he's going to be in a very good position once he gets back over into like the easier area. He does have bat chat's a making bat a move chat. by Phoenix. Steel Titan and his bat Coming chat back. is going to uh, find him. Wow, that is not... Bridge. Yeah, that is not the man you want to run into right there for sure. And Sif in motion manages to dirt his shot. Titan lands the first one. And our bats are in on the cap as well. Face to face with these IS-7s. Steel Titan just being patient with each shot, making every one count, because that's all that he can do, all that insistent motion could hope for was missed shots. Tweaky gets focused out, he goes down. Phoenix is up three to one kills. Sisyphus is able to, get to get out of there. Titans uh, full clip, but doesn't have very far I think, to run. Yeah, I think Immortals at this point smell the blood. But they're just gonna go in. Uh, Joe Hunter trying to do what he can for the cabinet. The Chieftain's pushing up very slow for F and X. You're exactly right, right there. And since the motion does end up going down by the bad chats of Immortals. Abiotic Haldo. Looks like he is on a one shot, too. Both of the bat chats staying low on the hill there. Gonna come up and attack Cryptics from the flank. Yeah. Joe Hunter goes down. One more Chieftain. Nice shot right there. And Immortals comes away. Pretty dominant. Chuck up another win. I did not see what happened. Oh, okay. It looked like Immortals had two tanks down right there, but I guess they only lost Tubbins in 140. Yeah, so Immortals coming out of the gate here in the first round, getting the 20 points for the victory, 14 points for killing all seven tanks, and six points for having six survived tanks. If I move there, you can see Tubbins was the only one that had died. So that's 40 points for the Immortals in the first round, and Phoenix gets two points for killing Tubbins. Uh, the Immortals, other than Tubbins, uh, were able to get a really good spread of damage. Everyone getting... You know, give or take 2,000 damage um, in that game. So a, a great, you know, team effort by by the Immortals sharing the damage load there. Um, over on Phoenix's side, uh, their bat chats just were not able to uh, get anything going. Uh, I mean, Adrian didn't even get to, sh uh, to fire a shot, and Super Fen Fenrir only fired one, but uh, it didn't it didn't pen. So uh, they got caught in open ground, and they got focused out early by, by the Immortals uh, the, the, this next round coming up. Uh, Phoenix is going to have to find a better location to send those bat chats. These guys are real quick to get their tanks loaded up. They're ready. Ready to go. Immortals coming out with four bad chats and three IS sevens. Just a solid, solid uh, loadout there. Sure. And on the side of Phoenix, we have assisted motion in the 100 LT again. Hulk and Ed in the 140 Super Fenrir in the bad chat 25P. Adrian and Tweaky Seven both running 50 beats. Christopher and Joe Henner electing to run the 113s this batch.
very strong lineups out of both of these squads right here. Uh, probably would like to see Phoenix go ahead and stick to their plan this time. Looks like they kind of fell into uh, Immortal's plan last match. Uh, these guys are really good at being super aggressive. I'd really like to see that out of these guys this time. Uh, I think with this map being so much larger than uh, the other maps that they've played on here lately, uh, it's probably making a little bit of the indecision happen because of, uh, you know, there's just so much more area that these uh, bad chats from Immortals can uh, load into and hide. Like both teams so electing to uh from that no spawn early on in this match uh electing to use the nine zero and then go ahead and uh put a couple of heavies up into the uh, just you know for a lot of you guys out there that run this map in a pub scenario this e seven grid right here that these one thirteens are moving up into is just a super strong place to play. There's a lot of people that like to play back around the A7 area instead of pushing up into that hill and just kind of wait on the enemy team to push into them. But this 113, this E7 grid, you have the ability to shoot crossfire into the 9-0. You have the ability to watch into the city, and you also have the ability that if your team loses the hill up in the B2 area and start to push in towards your cap on the AB line, you do have ability for cross shots right there as well. So very strong position for this map. Sis of motion like getting smil. the spots on those bat chats in the uh, K line there, the K7 square. Fires a shot at them. We'll see if those 113s are able to get any shots on those bat chats as they, if they fall back down the hill. Uh, bat chats for mortals. Look like they're going to come in aggressive again. Uh, just Tubby Boo Bear and Still Titan are just chomping at the bits to go. I think All that low profile with the 100 LT. have three marks on them, just to note that. <laughs> that was a nice, uh, nice shot by Abiotic Hollow, though, into that 100 LT right there. Here they go. This, ooh, Still Titan gets hit as ammo yeah. rack. Yeah, definitely going to have to be careful. Hulking that. It's got shots into these guys. Misses his second shot. Man. Sis of Motion does Phoenix a great job up a of slinking away there, undetected at that. It, I think it's so good. And they gave, gave up just a little bit of uh, map control right here, but it looks like it was for good, because it, apparently FNX has called a rotate right here. Oh, wow. You just, you can never doubt that Mortal's Focus Fire. That was intense. You, I turned the camera to... to to get the, sh the the shot in frame, and they focused him so fast, he was dead while I was spinning it. Sure. Especially especially if these guys are on their A game as well. Now, uh, Smil has pushed up super aggressive all the way into that EA area. Hear that once again? That same that same grid we were talking about just a second ago. E7 grid. If these guys try to keep pushing across, it's got just Really good crossfire. Really good crossfire set up right now by Immortals. Super dangerous right here. Sooner Fender should go down. Just got tracked. Does go down by Sir Tubbins. Smil takes a nice shot right there, though. Joe Hunter looks like he's next on the list to get focused out. He's going to escape just barely. He's got a fire. This of motion, spent circling around. He's trying to find a way to get uh, a shot on the cap. Definitely a smart play. Does get a small reset right there, but uh, I don't know if he hit the right tank. I didn't see the uh, timer change. Immortals just leading Phoenix out. They're they're ahead, 93% to 38% total health. There's a reset. Doesn't seem to change the timer. Abiotic uh, drives off the back of the hill, and that was the total reset. I don't think the Immortals yeah. want the cap win at this point. There's still plenty of time. No, for sure. 
Uh, oh, they yeah. are going to go ahead and jump right back on that cap, though, just to, just to continue putting that pressure on Phoenix. But the bat chats have circled all the way around a great rotation, and they're going to come in from both sides on the yeah. remaining Phoenix tank. Tweaky oh. 7. He gets yeah. focused, melted. Tweaky 7 got caught. Yeah, just got caught. These bat chats for immortals. No breaks. They need to go ahead and just push straight into this 113. Still tight needs to come around the back for the 100 LT. These guys are pinched in pretty, pretty hard right now. Hubby Boo Bear on a reload, still just driving right in. You know, even even yeah, a. Gonna get a ram. <laughs> yeah, a ram goes for a little right ram there. nudge. Um, Another one. It's, it's all right, boy. A little <laughs> bit of a little of a, a damage, boy. A little little damage. One that damage out of it, however he can get it. Look at that. Immortals taking the second round in this uh, series as well. Coming out with a perfect lineup, a, a perfect showing for 41 points. Uh, that's uh, 24 winning the round, 14 for getting all 7 kills, and 7 points for having 7 survived tanks. So we add up the points in this uh, in this event. And uh, a battle efficiency method. We add them up throughout the course of the entire weekend, and the teams with the highest efficiency are the ones that move on to the next week's operation. Phoenix getting a goose egg for points in this in this round. Uh, for, they didn't they didn't get any kills, and all of their tanks were destroyed. Um, disclaimer yet again. Uh, I always make sure make sure I note this every single match I do that I am not officially keeping score. I'm just calling it as I read it on screen. Um, the official scores are tallied uh, at the end of the weekend uh, by the moderators of the event. I just like to give the viewers an idea of how this is being added up. <laughs> These guys are all ready to go for round three. Phoenix is bringing three bat chats and four IS-7s for this round. They've dropped that T-100. It wasn't working for them, uh, it, it looks like. Sure. And, and what are the Immortals bringing out? We have Toby Boo Bear in a bat chat, still tight in a bat chat, and Smill in a bat chat. We have Abiotic Hollow, Desert Storm, and STL Stang rocking the IS-7s, and Sir Tubbins. Rounding it out with that AMX 50B. This is the third ra round of this matchup. Phoenix on the left in red, representing the Axis forces. The Immortals on the right in blue, representing the Allied forces. Uh, the Immortals were able to win the first two rounds in this uh, matchup. But Phoenix is definitely looking to come back and uh, even the score up. They were able to even the score up against Fame. Uh, in yesterday's battle, and I'm I'm sure that uh, they're gonna want to want to do the same thing against Immortals, and they're more than capable of doing it. Sure, for sure. Uh, so it's Super Finner, the only one over on this other flank. Um, I thought possibly we're gonna actually see some good work out of Phoenix right here early on. It looks like they're gonna elect to stay on this G line once again. Um, almost would have liked to see them full aggressive into D3 area and then just come straight down into this, once again, coming up, this E7 grid. Well, I know uh, they would take some damage from the bat chats on the zero line for Immortals right here, but uh, as aggressive as Immortals is playing right now, I think that they could definitely get the jump on these guys. I'd really like to see Phoenix get into their... Uh, 
get into their game style right here. Now, this could be a good bait, though, in the end. It would be a really good bait. Tubby Boo Bear might be over... Might be overextending just a little bit. Definitely super aggressive up here with Still Titan. He, he does get spotted. Nice shot, though, before any of the IS-7s. Swore Phoenix can react to that. Going to go ahead and start popping shots. Uh, a couple of the IS-7s. It's like uh, the bat chats. Super's One of the bat chats. Very war. dangerous spot right now. Man, definitely. Just, uh... And they're going they're gonna, to... Immortals will be counting this shot, so... All right, there we go. This is what I wanted to see out of FNX right here. They're this guy's going back to their game plan. Let's come in. Let's come in aggressive. They're going to come down. Immortals would be have to be shooting up into them three times, coming across on the cap. The cat's out of the bag. And with, uh, with the on. bat chats as oh. well. Oh, Adrian gets caught on fire. He goes down quickly. Focus fire took him down. Uh, immediately. Tubbins, yeah, they need to focus Tubbins. Tubbins goes down. 1-1, one, one, even it back up real quick right there. Uh, they've got to start putting some work into these uh, IS-7s. And I honestly think that Super Fender should go ahead and uh, start rotating around. They, he's got to know that the Bat Chats are going to go ahead and uh, rotate. Christopher slams into the back of uh, Stang, <laughs> I had to spin it, the, the names were over top. Stang is coming charging down the hill after uh, the other two IS-7s. Gets, gets away through the bridge there. He goes down. The bat chats for Immortals are up, up top though, and they're punishing uh, the IS-7s of Phoenix in the, in the middle. Maybe all the color goes down. The morals being up almost 20% HP is down one gun right now. Both and bat chats for immortals are up. on a reload though, so if Phoenix can take out this IS-7 without losing any more health, uh, it'll be a three on two. I think Boo Bear is coming Bear in. should come in for a rank kill. Wow. Uh, he's going to lose the IS-7 right here though. Oh, oh Christopher no, he goes doesn't. down first though. Wow. I think, honestly, we just had a little bit of uh, miscommunication on the side of FNX right here. Super Fender should have been in this fight a lot earlier than what he was. Oh, come on. Still five and a half minutes left on the clock here. Super Fender doesn't have enough time to kill. He's 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 got the immortals squeezing in, breathing down his back. No matter which way he runs, he's gonna run into one of them. Yeah, not All everybody is on the reload right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking at that. Even if they did engage, nobody's gonna shoot. <laughs> I think Super is loaded right now, but at the same time, Titan is loaded as well. Uber is Super Fenner's got his back turned to Titan. One miss. Oh, Titan whips the first one. Second but he's one just hits. not going to have the... Yeah, he's not going to have the reload to be able to clip him out before he gets up. Immortals hunting down the final bat chat and getting the kill there. That's the third round victory in a row against Phoenix for for them. So Immortals gets 20 points for winning the round, 14 points for destroying all seven tanks, and the extra two points for having two tanks survive. Phoenix getting five kills for 10 points. So you can see how uh, it's very important for teams, even when they're even when they lose a round, it's you know it's very important to get that extra kill or the extra two kills uh, before the round is over, uh, because over the course of the entire weekend, those extra two points, four points, six points, even if you get a third kill uh, before losing the round, th th those points are going to add up, and it's going to be the difference between um, between the, the the teams that are right on the edge, the the, the first team, like the top team that gets dropped and the and the bottom team that makes that squeezes in that those are going to be the points that make that difference 
是是。These teams are all set to go for the fourth and final round. Immortals coming out with four bat chats and three IS sevens. It's been a lineup that's been working well for them. Uh, Mortals and their bat chats have just superb focus fire. <laughs> when four bat chats come rolling at you, uh, and they they dump twenty shots in the uh, in a matter of you know ten seconds, that's that's a devastating force. Uh, what's Phoenix bringing sure. bringing out for this final round? Yeah, side of Phoenix right now we have Super Fender in the bat chat twenty five T assisted motion Christopher Hawkinet. And Joe Hunter in the four IS sevens, Adrian and Tweaky Seven in the fifty Bs. Let's go tank it. Like Phoenix has just been having a little indecision, uh trying to get their lineup tuned in just right. Uh they might run out of battles, but uh like like you mentioned, I, this actually, isn't I, I, the type of battle I think Phoenix is most comfortable on. Uh type of map. For sure, for sure. I think with their gameplay throughout the week and amount of uh, efficiency points that they have acquired, they should be into the next round to go ahead and escape past this map. But uh, yeah, definitely having a little bit of an issue with Immortals on this particular large map today. Uh, Sir Tubbins calling for Immortals has just always been one of the great callers in the game and uh, definitely shown it. To be able to adapt to just any map at all and go in and uh, set it up and get her done. Yeah, Sir Tubbins. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, he, he's, in my, to my knowledge, he might be the um, longest active current um, shot caller or or, or even competitive player for that matter right now um mo a lot of the guys uh, like like especially with the same team i mean the immortals have been around and sir tubbins have, has been a part of them from the beginning bad chats c coming in super aggressive once again taking early shots though great great crossfire set by uh phoenix right here w boo bear and super fin are trading right here uh, not going to be ultimate spot though. That three mark 50B from Tweaky coming in. Nice shot right there from Still Titan though. Now, I don't know if I approve of Phoenix's tank placement right here on these I-7s. These guys are too low. Uh, these. The Immortal Squad up there in the G6 square. Definitely going to have some uh, good shots into these guys shooting down into them. Smill takes a big hit there. He's down to half health. Fenrir goes down. First fatality of the round. Damage is even, though. It, it, Tweaky's going to have to be very careful. He's sitting on a one-shot. He's got three bad chats behind him and no one no one really to help but uh, Adrian and his CTV who is also on a reload right now. Tweaky 7 is probably going to be the next tank to go down. Adrian pushing up to try to do some damage sharing right here but just taking massive hits trying to go in. Like they're gonna try to focus out Tubby. He does get focused out and then goes down. Nice work right there though by Adrian with that clip and that 50B. Phoenix is up an extra gun. Damage slightly in their favor as well. I think almost right now is yeah, looks like Smill, now that he is relayed, it's almost done. He should be loaded right now. Uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, help these guys out in the middle with these IS-7s of Phoenix. Focus Christopher out. He goes down. Mortals have it brought worked, it back. I think S S 
mill actually should go down very possibly unless he gets focused. Did he just, I think Joe Hunter just bounced. Oh no, he's actually focusing Alpha Alex out. They're gonna let, they're gonna let Smill run away, and they're gonna take out the final IS-7. Joe Hunter, mm -hmm. on a very small sliver of health, I'm gonna see if I can find that. Uh, well it doesn't actually show. But you can see, he has very little health. That's good and, good and bad. Uh, do not like these I-7s chasing. Tubbins is probably going to take out Joe Hunter as soon as he can get him lit right here. And then you're going to have 87% uh, health IS-7 against a couple of the best bad chat players in the game. So, Tubbins very is dangerous on a right here. 3,300 3, damage game so far. Very nice. Be able to get some shots. They blind fire across after him. Tubbins just popped a reload, but Smill is loaded again. I wonder, for the points point of view, looks like Joe Hunter is going to get spotted by Smill shortly. And Smill might actually have that hit right there. With the amount of time left, almost, I, well, I can about 100% sure that neither one of these bad chats has any AG on board whatsoever, so it's going to have to fight it out. Smil gets himself lit. But the mobility right now, the mobility factor is just totally 100% in Immortal's favor, so uh, FNX. Just needs to keep being seriously careful. Really like that, uh, let's see which way Joe Hunter's tank is pointed. He's pointed in the right directions. Could actually possibly get one more shot into Tubbins before he goes down. Kind of a waiting game we're playing right here. Tubbins gets lit. Taking that shot takes my hit they, himself. Do you think they know that Joe Hunter's over here still? And I not don't. grouped up with uh, Hulkin out, Hulkin it. I I th I think they they've got to somewhat because I mean, that's just wide open ground. There's not anywhere else for him to go. Nate Tubbins was actually probably more worried about Hulkin it coming back down the H line and trying to put a shot from the bottom into him. But once again, these guys are just uh, two flies. Trapped in a room with you at night, you're trying to go to sleep. Every time you think you're good to go, one of them's gonna pop back up and land on you again. So, uh, Mortal's just working the ridges. Smell looking her thing for a right shot now. here. He's lining it up. He gets a track shot. No damage. I've said it before. The IS-7 is difficult tank for the bad chat to pan at range. Uh, I know from experience. Sure. It's it's. I don't know. The spaced armor on the side of it uh, just makes it so difficult at, at these kind of distances for the batch hat to pen. Yeah, definitely a double-edged sword. I mean, you're going to lose penetration with the APCR, and then just not much to shoot at besides the track, so that's just no reason to use heat whatsoever. But it looks like Tubbins is going to start creeping once again. Now, I can't tell. Is Hulk and it have enough? This has just enough of the tank hidden right there. Now Tubbins knows though. Where is that? But once again, just like you said, whistle. So difficult to pen. <laughs> He's able to put his entire oh. clip uh, into. Hulkinet, oh, nice shot wow. by Hulkin Hulkinet to take down Sir Great Tubbins. shot right there. Now, it looks like Smil's going to try to come in on top of Joe Hunter right here. No, he goes in and backs off. I was wondering if he, he might go ahead and just try to come in on top and get one more kill. 
But I think Tubbins probably called him off to go ahead and uh, maybe get the draw. That way, FNX doesn't get the extra 20 points. Yeah, at this point, we're looking at a 20-point difference if if uh, that tank goes down. If, if they're able to take out Smill and end the round in a victory, it'll be a 20-point uh, bonus for winning the round. But if it ends with anybody left alive and the, and the time runs out, uh, nobody gets that 20-point bonus for the round. Mortals have already won three of the rounds here today, so um, they don't necessarily need the, the 20 points. But at the same time, that might give the, uh, Smill the ability to just, you know, have a little bit of fun with this. He, 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 he doesn't have as much to lose. Phoenix needs to find, find the kill, though. This is... Uh... In the end right here, this is some very good uh, French on French action. Uh, Smell's actually French. And of course we know that uh, FNX is a French team as well. It's like Smell's going to go ahead and try to close this out. I think that probably might be the this death is of him gonna right be, there. Uh, yeah, this, he's got nowhere to go yeah. once he gets down into the low ground. Hulk and that's going to have to go aggressively after him. They need that, like I said, they need that kill. There it is. Very and nice play Phoenix right gets there. The 20 points for the round win. Great job, man. Great game right there. Very great. Very good matches. Definitely. Um, look at that. Getting a 4,500 damage game and four kills out of him. Uh, he's he's got to be very happy with uh, with that round and the fact that they were able to be. Uh, super patient between him and Joe Hunter. They were super patient, uh, playing those positions very well, uh, making it very difficult to get shots on Joe Hunter. Uh, and Hulkanet was um, using his health buffer to um, take the chance with the shots from the bat chats, knowing it would be difficult for them to pen him. But uh, even if he was penned, he, he had that health buffer to uh, absorb some of the HP. And over time, the they, they whittled down those bad chats and secured the victory. I I love seeing battles like that where uh, patience is 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 a virtue. Um, we'll just do the math on the on the on this round here. Twenty points for winning the round to Phoenix, fourteen points for the kills, and two extra points for the um, survive tanks. Immortals getting ten points for killing. Five of the Phoenix tanks, and I'll let you have uh, a word here, Phoenix, on your thoughts, or sorry, Beast, on your thoughts, while I do the math and add up the total score. Yeah, it looked like uh, Phoenix was able to uh, finally start bringing it around in that last match. Uh, just a little bit, a little bit late, but once again, this is not a uh, highly recognized comp map. Uh, Great job by Damage to uh, go ahead and put this in the rotation, though. I really like the fact that uh, he's kind of keeping to the theme of the uh, Allied Axis battle. So I do like that portion of it. But I don't. I just don't think that they were quite ready for uh, this map and Immortals. And uh, the just the super aggression that we know always comes with playing against Immortals. All right, so the the numbers are in. Uh, I tallied up all four rounds for this matchup between Immortals and Phoenix. Immortals uh, getting 127 points. Phoenix coming out with 48 points total. Uh, again, this is a disclaimer. I'm not an official moderator, uh, scorekeeper for this event. I add it up so I can tell the viewers while they're watching how the series has gone. Um, I make mistakes. I'm not... Not perfect. Uh, adding them up on the fly with a chicken scratch piece of paper here is not the official score. But I have given you a idea uh, of what the what the outcome was. So once again, that's the end of today's oper or this weekend's operation and today's stream. Uh, thank you for watching and check the replays out on my channel and the replays of every battle from this uh, this clam wars frontlines uh, event on the clam wars frontlines youtube channel i'll post that in the chat with a link yet again
um, 